Hey Virgo, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. We're going to do your August read and we're going to see what's going on for you for the month and starting off with the Rider Waite Smith, going to get a temperature here. It's a general and you'll probably know within the first couple minutes if it's for you or not. So uh, take it as if it resonates and if, if it applies, work with it. Um, so I was trying to do formal spreads, but the cards were literally like, zip it lady, just shuffle, I'll let you know when I'm done. So I'm not going to argue with them, and that is what we're doing. Um, so here we go. We got the Knight of Pentacles, and then we have Temperance, and then we have Hermit Reversed. There you are. I don't feel like it's um, Hermit necessarily you exactly. I feel like it's more the energy of the Hermit because it's um, you can kind of discern between whether it is you or something else. But I feel like this is you coming out of any kind of introspective thing you have this knight of pentacles which is um a very good solid stable deliberate energy the temperance is is wonderful i mean she's literally just back and forth with these cups there's also an element of just kind of patience and slow and steady and that's nice and if there was anything you were holding back from it's like you you feel safe to kind of emerge like you've you know recharged and let's do this. So what about this hermit are we talking about here? Give me something on the hermit. It is the four of wands. Hi. There's, there's stability. And also, if you want to lean into the 1111 aspect, that's there as well. So there is an element of wish fulfillment. Um, I do really feel like more of this is the stability part. I'm just going crisscross applesauce here. So temperance, what is Virgo kind of getting together here and balancing actually just kind of like do it on knight of pentacles and temperance por favor oh what's that no more waiting you've kind of gotten over something in some way um you know i feel like you're the hermit you're going to get the perspective either way right so when it comes to the hangman being reversed it's like there is this you know you know that's Diana Ross song, I'm Coming Out? It's kind of like I'm hearing that one, where it's just kind of celebratory and triumphant, and it's lovely. So I'm feeling good about this energy going into the reading, because I'll tell you what, these sassy boots, they only want to do a nine card. And I'm like, okay guys, this is what we're doing. And like I said, the cards are literally, like Lady Shuffle. I was too far away, crisscross applesauce, so now we're right upon it. So we have Eight of Pentacles reversed. We have Ten of Swords. And I am doing a nine card, so this isn't like, um, you know, just here you go, that's it. That whole lead-in was not indicative of what's going on. But then we have Six of Pentacles reversed. So yeah, there's just, there's something that you feel like you weren't getting anywhere on. And you were really trying to figure out how to make that happen. And then you just said, I, well, okay, we're not putting our time there, huh? Our time and energy doesn't belong there. Now, here's the Emperor reversed. You have the Page of Wands back here. I feel like you're on the cusp. Page of Cups and Devil reversed. Yeah, like you're on the cusp of really kind of like grabbing whatever this is by the horns. You know, with the page being there, I get that it is more of a immature energy where it's like trying to grow and trying to do it. Um, let's see here. Give me one last one and then we'll, and then we'll talk. We'll talk. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like it's not that this stuff can't happen. It's more so that there's a couple steps in between. Because the Emperor is a four, you end with the Hierophant reversed. So if we're going to do the four corners, you know, you have the Emperor reversed. It's time to kind of take control of stuff. You might feel like there's some kind of impediment. I mean, we'll clarify in a hot second. But there's something that um, is not fully developed, especially with the Page of Wands being here. And then you have the Page of Cups on the other side. So like sandwiching... You know, if anything, 
if you did try and take control of things right now without your eyes d dotted and T's crossed, it might feel like um, a little too soon or maybe not as mature or as forceful. Um, and I mean forceful in the way of, you know, being able to command attention, command respect, those kind of things. It might be one of those things where like, oh, Virgo is so cute when they try and put their foot down. Um, so I don't think you're at that fully, like, say, with your whole chest emperor level. Not that you're not going to get there, because I see, you know, the pre-shuffle, you had the whole, um, you know, just really kind of moving very steadily. So I think it's a matter of keeping that same momentum through this because eight of pentacles reversed something wasn't really working and so you stopped giving your time and energy to it with the six of pentacles reversed there was an imbalance in something that you recognized and then here with the justice it was like no we're not doing this because then the ten of cups reversed so you could have potentially i'm not saying you gave up but you reallocated your attention and to others, it might have looked like, wow, Virgo really just like dumped out all those cups. What's going on there? Because you want something that's built on something solid. You want that four of wands. You don't want, you know, any kind of, you know, baby stuff. And see, with Emperor being a four, Hierophant being the next one, it's almost like if you get this part of the show right, this guy turns. Like you're leveling up in a video game. Um, also pointing out that on the Page of Cups, you have the devil reverse. So yeah, there is an element of having to, um, you, you might need to clear out, um, it could just be as simple as bad habits, bad routines, things that aren't really going to work for you when you move into this phase. Because the Hierophant does ask you, and the Emperor does also ask in his own way, um, you know, are you, are you putting your best foot forward? And it sounds so trite, but you need to maybe look at your routines, look at, um, you know, it could even be down to like, you know, do you drink too much coffee? You know, what, or, or is there anything you can cut out of your diet or add to your diet that would make it better? You know, I mean, take a Flintstones vitamin. I don't know what it is, but it could be that small. It doesn't have to be like this grandiose, like, I'm going to exercise every morning and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And, you know, um, bite size, bite size manageable, because I want to say with this three of wands reversed, I don't feel like your manifestation is blocked. But like I said, you get control of the nuts and bolts. You're building whole ships with them. And then those ships are going to, and it's like, I almost get this feeling also if you're not waiting any longer because you had that nice, you know, Knight of Pentacles, Temperance, Patience, blah, blah, blah. But like, you're ready to kick it in high gear, but you're still not, you know, like I said, fully mature because you have the two pages. So you're trying to figure out what you're doing and how you're feeling and trying to make the best choices within that, the confines of that. But the Three of Wands reversed, there's also like a let's go vibe. Like, let's do this. So I don't know if people have been saying like, Virgo, wow, like you really, um, you know, bailed on something that could have been good. But I almost feel like with this Ten of Swords, though, there might have been facets of it. Like people didn't have the whole story. And you're like, ha, 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 you have no idea. Um, so it's almost like from an outsider's point of view, it's like, wow, Virgo, like, I don't know why they're doing that. It's like, mind your business because you didn't know why things weren't working. You didn't know that there was like other stuff going on that you, that you had to free yourself of. And, um, and cause I'm not really getting other people, but with this page of wands, I always like how he's looking through that, um, the magnifying glass there's a criticalness to it and with the page of cups a lot of pages aren't looking at the fish in the cup but like there's paying attention to detail that I think is going to be important 
the nuances of stuff. So Emperor, what is that about? I know I didn't clarify much, but um, Queen of Swords reversed. Why is she reversed? Because usually she's the one that slices and dices. What is that about? Three of Cups. Something could still be fun. There could be um, hints of reunion. There could be something that is kind of hanging over your head in that way where you don't want to shut the door on something yet. Um, you don't want to get on the ships just yet. Um, give me one more on that Three of Cups. Because I think, you know, to go full Ten of Swords, it's Page of Pentacles reverse, but it's just like, if you've been waiting, I don't know if it's going to show, you know? Um, but let's see this Three of Wands here. You have the other Emperor, hi. If you do stop waiting, if you do stop waiting for this, you know, I'm not going to say it's a crumb bum, but it, it's like you've outgrown the ship. You know, this is like, you know, those little dinghies that you have to blow up. And, you know, with a pump on the beach and then like you're, you know, flips over and the waves release you. <laughs> you know? Oh, excuse me, I'm even choking. Um, you know what I mean? But this is like, this is like, you know, I hate to say carnival cruise. How about we say Royal Caribbean? That's a little... <laughs> or Norwegian or whatever it may be. But like... These are the ships you want. This is like baby dinghy lifeboat, you know, little floaty rings. You don't want floaty rings. You want whole ship. So I think, I mean, there's multiple emperor cards and you got both of them. One's reversed, one's upright. Who are you going to listen to? You know, um, so maybe that's that little, maybe that's what you're overcoming with the devil is being willing to actually close that chapter, close that part of the book, you know, and see what's going on. Because with the Hierophant, Seven of Swords reversed. Something, and I'm not saying you've been lying to yourself or anything, but if there's a narrative that's been going on that you have been seeing, I always get like that cognitive dissonance where you're like, um, I was told one thing, but I'm totally seeing something else in front of me. Like, you know, am I nuts? Like there's something that isn't matching up. And if you do take that power, if you do emperor it up, you do get out of this seven of swords energy. Cause there, it is just like, I don't feel like this is super current energy. I feel like it's lingering. This is the stuff that is like, you've been trying to move ahead. You've been trying to get through, but you can still look over your shoulder. And you're like, is it coming? Are they, are they coming? And even if they do, I don't think it's, it's not worth it. It's not mature. It's not, it's not fully grown. King of Swords reversed. Yeah, there's something that you, by not making a decision, or just leaving that door open a smidgen. You're not fully allowing this stuff to take over, take place. Because what is the Six of Cups, of, Six of Pentacles, my gem? Reversed. It's the full reversed. I'm hearing like that needle scratch. Where it's like, because you want the Ace of Wands. You're trying to figure out what is, what are we moving on? What are we doing? Because I want to see what this Ten of Swords was about. Judgment and the Hermit, you were not listening to yourself. But once you did, it was like, because for me, Judgment is like the more universal card that's kind of going, yo, Virgo, you okay? You, you need, you need backup. But Justice, you were down here like, no, nah, I got it. But you still got to get it. You got to get got until you shut the door all the way. So, okay, give me one on this emperor. How is Virgo going to do this? How is Virgo going to do this? How is Virgo going to do the emperor biz here? Give me one on that. Tell me, tell me, tell me. One on Virgo with the emperor. 
You don't really want to do it, do you? Ha ha. We're going to six of swords. I don't know how... Once again, Rider Wade Smith, it's ships. Remember, you want the cruise ship. You want the giant luxury cruise ship. You do not want the water floaty dinghy, Bob. Okay? Go. <laughs> Be free, Virgo. So over here on the devil, what else can Virgo do to wrap it up? Okay. What can we do? We can do the Empress and Queen of Cups. I feel like this is more growing your own garden. And then the Queen of Cups kind of turns off the faucet and is like, no, no, no. I, I'm watering my own garden. I'm doing my own thing. And that Empress energy, you can actually kind of grow and nurture that. Because the Queen of Cups going reversed is more like, no, 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 this is mine. <laughs> I'm pouring some out for my homies and myself. So... That's overall, you know, go get the luxury cruise ship. Don't do the little ding ding things. So we're doing another one, just kind of like overall. In summary, we have nine of chalices. This is kind of like the outcome to the outcome here. What do you want? You want four of wands and seven of coins. You want to see results of the stuff that you've put together and planted and tried and or make it happen. Nine of Wands. You are popping your head up. You know, I call, you know, like, um, prairie dogging. Where it's like, is it okay? Is it alright now? Um, you did the best you could. You still somehow got a, a dinged. Or, you know, kind of, uh, I'm not going to say burned. But you got hurt in, in some kind of process so this is the guy being like you know what i'm just i'm not gonna give to this so you're working on how much you give versus how much you want versus the push the pull the etc you also have two nines which means you're kind of at the the end of this you know what you want is almost like right around the corner but nine of chalices ain't nothing to sneeze at and there you are again hermit Hermit what? Hermit what with this? Two of Swords. To get to what you want, to see the results of all the stuff that you've planted and all the good stuff, you have pulled back. I think you've been able to kind of look at the big picture and you're like, wow, that hurt. That smarted. That was not a good time. And you're able to finally make the decision. But it does require kind of moving away from things that were not the best for you. But it's only upgrade from here on out. But you taking control of it is the first step. You've recognized, now you have to take the action. Because like I said, if you do it now, people will be like, oh, Virgo, aren't they adorable? And I think, honestly, that'll just piss you off more. So... <laughs> The moon, there's recognition. Um, it's not really tarot moon, it's more Lenormand moon. But, okay, here's the tower. That is a hierophant card that is doing things the right way. That is contracts, that is um, anything that's kind of like on the up and up. What are we doing with it? Oh, we know what we're doing with it because the sun is the opportunities and stuff. And then here's the book. There's the knowledge that goes with it that you've gleaned through this whole process. Now, what about this? The ring. Hi, we're starting new cycles. If it is a relationship, there's new relationship that is going to kind of shine the light. Actually, I didn't get a whole lot of other people coming in. But if you are broaching new relationships, I think the seeing how being able to compare and contrast against what you've dealt with in the past i'll be like whoa i uh, uh that limbo bar bar was real low wasn't it so the dog loyalty friendship everything you're finding it so yeah i mean really it's what is that the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step you just gotta take that one step Virgo. okay and remember we're going luxury cruise ship not little Ding-a-ding -ding water wings, okay? So, look at look at what ships 
have been going your way. So this is the Space Age Lenormand. It's a very dramatic deck, and I only take one at a time, but we have fight. Okay? Literally, fight. I feel like, you know, the anger. Okay? Is someone fired up? Enemy. You know, I don't think it, like I said, it's very dramatic. It doesn't have to be this dire. But what I'm getting out of this is uh, people say, like, you have to be all love and light and everything. I'm like, no, you're given emotions for a reason. If you're angry or if, like, your ego's dinged or something's up, you need to use that and be like, something's wrong. What, what is it? What is it about this? Do you feel like you're going in circles with any kind of confrontations that you're in? And it's funny, like five of wands and five of swords, like none of that came out, but it was almost like the vibe of the aftermath of dealing with this kind of stuff. And it's not so much an enemy. It's so much realizing with that anger, with those kind of like, Hey, what? Cause remember you had the nine of wands. That's like, hey, ow, that hurt. You're realizing who is for or against or who you can trust, who's your ride or dies. And remember, you had the dog back here, too, which is the same thing. So there is a lot of clarity coming to you, Virgo. Um, I don't, I feel like you're out of the fight. Now you're in the do. You're in the doing of it. Um... You know, you could have warm, fuzzy memories of what was or something about it. Like I said, you're keeping the door open, but we need to kind of deadbolt that and get a move on um, into this next phase. And, you know, they may or may not come back, but I think whatever's coming to you is better once you start those wheels going. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you, and I'll talk to you later.